Hey guys, this is Shooter here, uh, bringing you another how to draw video. This one is uh, Iron Man out of the new annual comic, uh, The Avengers. It's actually a very, uh, very interesting one. Uh, if you have a ever a chance to go pick it up, pick it up. But um. What I have right here is uh, I started a, a sketch today and, and never really got to finishing or recording the actual sketch part of it. I uh, used a, uh, a Prismacolor um, blue color erase pencil and I sketched out and shelled out what I really wanted to do and I used loose, loose figures and loose shapes that I... Uh, that I continued to build on until I got a uh, a marquee figure that I felt was good enough for moving on to the pencil, which you see right now. Um, I have it in time lapse because it is about about 30 minutes long. Um, took me about 30 minutes to do it, um, but even though I'm doing this pencil, as you see, uh, it doesn't mean it's final. Uh, I'm kind of just going over there to see it more uh, clearly. Um, to get a more of an understanding of what I've drawn um, but as I'm doing this I'm doing very lightly lines I'm not worrying about messing up because I still have the ability to uh, erase um, you know and you'll see this coming up soon when I'm doing on the hand I race quite frequently uh, trying to get the correct position of the fingers, the correct length, uh, correct uh, style that I wanted. Um, and obviously that looked horrible, so I had to fix that. And then it just kept getting worse and worse, so I had to figure something out right here. Um, so what I did was, after I f fixed this horrible piece of right here, uh, I erased it all and I built the sphere inside of his hand and I kind of molded the hand and the finger positioning around it. It's kind of floating. Uh, that's actually uh, Mr. Wonderful, I think his name is. Wonder Man, I'm sorry. Uh, what kind of Mr. Wonderful that was. But anyways, uh, that's Wonder Man in, in that sphere. Um, he kind of went rogue and they, that's the only way to capture him. Uh, but anyways, uh, this uh, this hand was actually quite hard for me. Um, hands in general are hard for me, uh, but when you put in a mechanical style like this, Iron Man has always been giving me a difficult problem. And if you for, if you run into a problem with Iron Man, yeah, don't feel like you're alone. You are not alone. Iron Man has shapes and figures that challenge me. Uh, all the time. That's why I hardly draw him. Um, so um, as you're doing this, keep keep in mind you want to do lo loose lines. Um, I know I've said that before, but keep it loose. Um, you don't want to uh, make them too hard where you can't erase. Uh, now we, we're getting into the place where I wanted all the lines. I'm kind of going in and lightly blocking out the shade part of what I want to be shaded uh, where I think shade should go and cast shadows and shadows and reflections on his armor um, blocking that out will help you when you ink it uh, and it will show you where, what it looks like and uh, since you're doing it in pencil and very lightly you can erase and, and do it over and continue it until you find something that you enjoy, uh, like um, I'll just sit right here for a second because I really don't have anything else to say right now. Iron Man's armor is uh, really mechanical, really, uh, really, um, what's the word for it? Uh, uh, robotic, obviously. He is a ro robotic armor, but... Um, it's it's uh, needs to be a lot of straight lines, a lot of lines that are not natural uh, to the body. But he does have a lot of natural body uh, figure uh, parts to it. So keeping that in mind also.
and I studied about three drawings of the ultimate form. I studied uh, different forms of his armor to back to 1980. Uh, a lot of people don't do that, but as I was taught in, in my art classes, to always research it out. Why? You say, why well, research out the what it looks like? It's it's going back to the original, going back to why it looks the way it looks, um, making sure that you know what you're drawing and why you're drawing it. And if you don't know why, then you know you're not doing any good. Right now, I'm just getting all the lines perfect for the for the next stage of inking. But right now, I'm inking it with a uh, micron. I think it's 0.8. And uh, I'm filling in the ink lines with a brush tip. This is a pretty cool pen that I picked up. Um, it helps me ink large, large areas, uh, and uh, give me like a nice uh, brush, aluminum brush, metal type look uh, that I was going for. So I picked this one instead of a normal, uh, a normal ink pen. Uh, but really, it doesn't matter what you use. Uh, if you use it correctly, you can use anything. It doesn't have to be this high tech. Also, my uh, my camera kind of went dead on me, so I'm, it's cut off right here in a, in a second. Uh, but it does show a final figure of it. Um, also, if you would like and subscribe and comment on this video, um, it would help me out 